Hello from the Laborers Health and Safety Fund of North America. I'm Emily Smith, Health Promotion Manager here at the Fund. Today I want to discuss heart health and how you can lower your risk for heart disease. Heart disease is the number one cause of death in the United States and the second leading cause of death in Canada. Fortunately, many of the risk factors are preventable. However, they are also more common among laborers than the general population. Heart disease affects how the heart functions and refers to several types of heart conditions. Coronary artery disease is the most common type of heart disease. For many people, the first sign is chest pain or even a heart attack. Heart disease starts when excess fat, cholesterol, calcium, and other substances in the blood build up on the artery walls. Over time, this buildup hardens and causes the arteries to narrow. This process is known as atherosclerosis. Narrowed arteries decrease the flow of blood to your heart. When your heart doesn't get enough blood, you may experience chest pain or discomfort. Over time, this can weaken the heart and lead to a heart attack, heart failure, or an irregular heartbeat. One in five heart attacks is silent, meaning the person doesn't experience any signs or symptoms. There are many risk factors for heart disease. Some are controllable, some are not. Controllable risks include using tobacco, eating an unhealthy diet, having high blood pressure, being overweight or obese, drinking alcohol heavily, being physically inactive, having high LDL cholesterol, or having uncontrolled diabetes. Uncontrollable risks include being male, getting older, and a family history of high blood pressure, high cholesterol, or heart disease. While some risk factors are out of your control, you can significantly reduce your risk by eliminating tobacco use, maintaining a healthy weight, eating a healthy diet, and being active. If you suspect you are at high risk for heart disease because of your family health history or other factors, talk with your doctor. If you have specific questions, reach out to the Fund's Health Promotion Division or leave us a comment below. Thanks and stay safe out there!